on a YouTube channel, I was asked about developing a water supply diversion from the reservoir. So I wanted to take this model and, and show how that's done. I have a very simple model here. I have 500 CFS coming in on this main stem, 500 CFS from the tributary, and then I have a single reservoir. So I'm going to show how to add a diverted outlet to handle a water supply diversion. And in this case, any water supply diversions are going to be completely removed from the system. So the first thing I do is I select the diversion tool and then I hold down control, hit, uh, and then uh, do a mouse click. And then I can drag it out here and then click again. And now I have developed a diverted outlet. Um, now I need to go in and put in the physical data of the diverted outlet. So the diverted outlet is now part of the reservoir. So I'll select the reservoir. And the first thing I want to do is make sure I go in and put in the physical properties of that. So first thing I can do is rename this and I'll call this water supply diversion. I think my elevations in this model run from zero to a hundred. So I want to specify a capacity. In this case, I'm just going to specify hundred CFS capacity for all of the elevations. And then what I need to do is I need to go apply a rule. And um, in this case, we're, the rule that we're going to have is going to reference an external time series. So what I want to do is uh, put in a new rule. And we can just call this water supply. And we're actually going to make it specific to the water supply diversion. And we're going to call it a release function. We're going to make it a function of an external variable. And we have to name, give this name a variable so we can find it in our alternative editor. So I'll call that water supply and then hit OK. Now, it, since I'm going to be using the exact values that come out of the time series, I want to make it a specified release rule. And then here it wants a relationship between what it's getting from the external time series and what you want the release to be. In this case, we want it to be a one-to-one -one relationship. So this is uh, this column is basically the numbers that are coming out of the time series, and we're saying whatever number you get out of the time series, I want that same number to be my release. So I just developed this one-to-one -one relationship. And then I can go ahead and add that rule to all zones. Okay. Uh, I think everything is set up okay. I do need to go to my alternative editor. Um, I, on the look back, um, I had developed in, in the external time series, I have a 50 CFS constant water supply diversion. So for look back, I'm going to also just make that 50. And again, this is going to be very simplistic just to show the concept. And I already developed a time series, and so now I need to go and find that. So I'm going to open. There we go. I'm going to go to the YouTube model, and I'm going to choose my water supply diversion DSS and again in this DSS file I just made a constant uh, 50 CFS diversion okay I'm going to select that tell it to set the path name and you can see it filled it in down here so now we have that relationship between what we want to happen at the diverted outlet and the external time series so I'm going to save this I'm going to close it I'm going to save my network. Now this was already a developed model, so since I did something in the network module, which is the best way to think about that is that's considered the base. If I want it to then be applied to the simulation, I need to do a replace from base directory. Then you'll see my diverted outlet shows up, and then all of the rules also show up. And assuming that I did everything right, I should be able to run it now. Okay, it seems to run just fine. And if we go and look at the results here, 
then we can see we do get a 50 CFS diversion. And we can and remember we had 500 coming down here and then um, 500 coming here, which would give us, and this is a flow through reservoir, it just passes all the inflow. Um, so before we had that diverted outlet, we would have seen a thousand at this point, but at this point we actually should see uh, 950. Um, a little bit of, uh, um, of a hiccup here because I didn't change some of the look back uh, data, so I have a, a larger release, but you can basically see that once everything settles down, you do have 950 uh, CFS at that point. By the way, that's the red line. The green line is showing what would happen if it was unregulated, basically meaning that if you didn't have that diversion in place and you didn't have the dam in place. So it looks like that this is working correctly and hopefully that helps to explain how a uh, water supply diversion would be applied to the reservoir. Thanks for watching the video.